Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title today, I am dyeing my hair. And I'm actually kind of doing this intro vlog style. I am in my bathroom. I have really old clothes on. It's because even though this dye is semi-permanent, it is still dye. So I've been wanting to dye my hair for like a really long time. I thought I'd go a bit of like a reddish plum and I'll show you what kind of dye I'm going to be using and everything in a moment. Yeah, so I'm just going to show you some things that I've got. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you like this video. Hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell notification so you never miss one of my videos. So I have to crouch down. But the dye I'm currently going to be using is Directions. I don't really know how you pronounce that, but I'm going to say the top bit. And basically, I got it in what colour did I get it in? Pillow box red. I was going to get the Rubine, Rubine hair dye, um, which is kind of like a reddish purple, but I wanted to go with probably not showing up oh actually it's like that I mean it's showing up a little bit more purpley already on camera before I start I've, I've already like took the little sealy path but I've also got because I haven't done this before I also went and got a just like a grab a clean just to put my hair up with when I've done and it's like because I need to wrap it then I've already kind of opened these, so it'll be easier for me. But just some gloves, and by the way, the hair dye pots, they were in the UK, were £3.99 each, and I got two pots because my hair is quite thick, so I've got two of them, and I might not need two, but I'm going to be mixing it with conditioner, and this clip was £1.49, the gloves were 50p, this was £1.50, this little brush that I'm going to be doing like the top, like getting like the top edges with then down here I'll probably just use my hands and then also just a little mixing bowl and this was £1.50 as well. As you can tell in this lighting that is my hair, it's kind of like an auburny brown kind of colour so it might actually take but I don't know. So. I'm just gonna wait for my mum and then we'll get into the video. I actually need to go and get some Vaseline to put around the outline of my face. I forgot to say that as well. You will need like some Vaseline or some moisturizer to put on your ears and around your neck and on your hairline because obviously it's easy to get off. So please excuse the towel. I have just washed my hair with shampoo only and you're gonna wanna just towel dry your hair roughly so I've just got it up for the purpose why I swell so would dye. Also I'm going to be putting conditioner with it because I don't want it to be super like that. I actually just want to put a little bit in see and just mix it until I get the right colour and yeah I'm not going to do it super light so I can always add a bit more but this is going to be the initial I that is, I'm trying to do it without spilling it, but that is what the dye looks like. So I think this is quite good. It looks like that. I might actually add just a little bit more in of um, red and a bit more conditioner. I kind of put my gloves on now and I clipped half it up because I think I'm going to do it from the bottom and work my way up just to get like an even coverage. I've done it. By the way, if my camera cuts out while I'm recording this, I am really, really sorry, but I won't be able to touch my camera at the moment. Obviously, you're going to get very messy, so I would be careful. You kind of just want to... It's not really showing up in camera. You can kind of see it. But I'll show you like what it looks like in a like time-lapse. Oh, already got it on me. Brilliant. 
So yeah, I'll probably just time lapse this up. I'll probably spend a little time just uh, getting this on. I've kind of like already got it on me. I might have to like use my other hands. And that should do for now. I just want to quickly help. I'm not professional. I, I recommend getting this done professionally. As long as like you saturate everything, you should be absolutely fine. So that is the first layer done. Literally so messy. How long are you keeping it on for? I'm gonna keep it on for like an hour. Yeah. I have pretty much just done half of my head already and don't really know how even it is but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lather it on and then I'm going to like really like saturate it. By the way, this is really, I know it looks messy, but I don't really know what, how much I can do, do just like stop myself from getting this messy. It's going to get a bit messy and I haven't actually managed to get any on the floor yet, which is really good for me. So this last top bit and then I will go through it and see if I missed any bits and I have part my hair in the middle because it's just easier to like see and everything so that is why but you don't have to do that that's just personal preference. My camera actually cut off but I just put this around my head and I'm going to leave it on there for about an hour or half an hour and I'm just going to keep checking the colour and keep checking it and I've kind of like scrubbed my arms that's actually come off quite a bit on my arms and around my neck area I'm going to it is quite red because I don't know why you can see that it is quite red but what I'm going to do is once 
I'll get myself, I'm gonna get in the shower and just scrub everything. And it should come off in a few days. Like, if you keep like rinsing off, washing it off and keep doing it, it should come off in a few days. It's not, it's not gonna stain your skin forever. So I'm gonna keep this on, like I said, for like half an hour to an hour. And then I will be back and show you the final result. I have just finished blow drying. I haven't styled it properly because I've actually got to go in a minute. But as you can tell, I left this only on for half an hour in the end because we have to go out. But next time I do it, I'm going to leave it on for a full hour and a half. Because as you can tell, my light, I'm going to try and get in the light for you guys so you can see it. It's kind of gone red. A little bit. It hasn't. I wanted it to be first off with a tin, just to see how it would take. And I mean, see it there. I'll insert some pictures and everything when I come to edit this in Natural Daylight tomorrow, so you guys can see the full effect. I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye, guys.